All right, hi friends. Welcome you all. 76 days to cat and to the second part of mysteries and maths of equilateral triangles. In this part, we'll be testing our concepts with some of the best questions from cat and Z. There is an equilateral triangle with a square inscribed in it. One of the sides of the square lies on the sides of equilateral triangle. What's the ratio of square to that of equilateral triangle? So let's see. So this is X. This is X. Now this is also 60. This is also 60. We already know this is X and this is 60. So this must be X upon root 3. So now this complete it becomes X plus 2X upon root 3. Right. And therefore the area will become root 3 by 4 into the square of X plus 2 x upon root 3 and what's the area of the square area of the square is x square right so now we just have to take a ratio here uh, here I'll have a 4 root 3 right so this root 3 will go into multiplication making it 12 so the answer here must have 12 so we have two options here I have a square of this so this becomes 3 plus 4 so this becomes 3 plus 4 plus something into root 3. Now when this root 3 multiplies, the second term must be 7 root 3. So we don't need to solve it completely. As long as we have the options, we can eliminate using small tips like these. I hope this is clear to you. So the answer to this first question is for answer option A. You can solve it completely to find the same answer. Moving forward now. So we have uh, a, uh, a square. Inside the square, we have a circle. And inside the circle, we have a triangle right so that's the case uh, so what's the ratio of the areas now this is a very very simple question if I have here x so then the uh, diameter of the circle is x so then the circumradius of the triangle for the triangle is x upon 2 we know that circumradius is 2 h by 3 which is height h is height here x by 2 so 2 h by 3 is equal to x by 2 quite simple so h becomes 3x upon 4 we know that in terms of uh, let's say the side is a so in that case h is root 3 by 2a so that is given to us as 3x upon 4 so this cancels and this cancels so a is root 3x by 2 so what's the area area is root 3 by 4 a square so 3x square by 4 right and what's the area of the square area of the square is x square so x square cancels so 3 root 3 upon 16 the answer is answer option D here. I hope this is clear. Moving forward, three equal circles placed inside an equilateral triangle. And what's the ratio of areas of one circle to that of the triangle? Right. So let's see. We have something like this here. Now, let's say the radius of the circle is X. In that case, here I have a 90. And here the complete angle was 60. Now if this angle is 30, this angle is X this is 60 so this becomes root 3x now we have something like this here so this is x and this is x so this becomes 2x this point let's say this point is z so mz is 2x and zb again is root 3x so what is ab ab becomes 2x plus 2 root 3x so if we take 2x common root 3 plus 1 so that's the side of the triangle what is the ratio of areas of one circle to that of the triangle the area of the circle is pi x square area of the triangle is root 3 by 4 into the square of this so 4x square square of this becomes 3 plus 1 4 plus 2 root 3 right so if i get a cancelled here x square cancelled so this becomes pi upon 6 plus 4 root 3 so answer option a